from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action. Another beautiful day here in the Tampa Bay area. McKenna King will let you know just how long it's going to last. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Let's get a look at your ABC Action News headlines first. Right now, we are staying on top of the coronavirus outbreak overnight. The Florida Department of Health confirming 39 more people have tested positive for the coronavirus. Among those new cases, a man and woman from Hillsborough County and a man from Pasco County. That brings the total number of cases in the state of Florida to 115. The majority of cases are in Broward County, but 13 people are infected here in the Tampa Bay area. Four Floridians have died from the virus. Governor Ron DeSantis is now breaking down the new steps and how the state is combating the outbreak. He says more people will be hired in Florida who can help process coronavirus lab tests. Drivers and state license renewals will also be pushed back 30 days. Governor DeSantis says with the way things are going, domestic travel bans could be a good idea. I think the administration needs to look at domestic flights from certain areas where you have outbreaks. I just think what we're seeing here um, is we're seeing cases now where people clearly would have acquired it somewhere else in the United States, brought it here. And I think New York, given Florida's relationship with people and our population's relationship to people from New York, you, know, you just have a lot of interaction. Overnight, we learned one of the people who tested positive for COVID-19 in Florida was a TSA officer at Orlando International Airport. TSA officials tell us that person is at home and won't return to work until they are cleared by a doctor. Other officers who worked with that person are staying home for the next two weeks. Airport officials ordered extra cleaning for all of the areas where that officer worked. The president is now extending the travel ban with Europe to now include the UK and Ireland. The World Health Organization is calling Europe the center of the pandemic. A number of European countries now on lockdown. And people in Spain aren't allowed to leave their homes except to buy food, go to the pharmacy, or go to the hospital. In Italy alone, the virus claiming 175 lives in the last 24 hours. And in France, the prime minister announcing non-essential businesses, including restaurants, cafes, and cinemas, will close until further notice. Now let's get you some positive news this Sunday morning. McKenna King taking a look at your forecast. We do have positive news this morning. It's going to be a beautiful day on this Sunday. 67 degrees to kick off the morning. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s, eight, about 80 degrees by the lunch hour. Mostly sunny skies. A few clouds entering the forecast by this afternoon, but it is going to be a mostly sunny day with temperatures well above average for this time of year. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s today and over the next couple of days. A beautiful day to hit the beach. It's going to be a kind of humid day, but nothing uncomfortable. So this this will be a nice place to be as far as our temperatures over the next seven days. We're going to be in the mid to upper 80s through the middle of the week. We'll hit about 85 degrees on Tuesday for a brief cool down, but then temperatures back up above average about 80 degrees on Wednesday and we're ending the week up near 90. And ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24 7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Have a good one.